Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Random Legacy. We are here with our Sims, and if you guys can hear any music or clicking in the background, just know it's my son. He is in his swing, and he is fast asleep because he has been really fussy today, and yeah. So I did just go ahead and record um, editing Miguel's looks, and I will be editing... or editing. I will be adding that into this video probably right after this intro uh, before we get going and you can see what I went ahead and did. This is what he looks like. I think he's really adorable so if you want to check that out it's like the next five minute clip but then after that we're just gonna be getting right into it.
So anyways, um, now that you guys have seen him um, with his clo new clothes, we are going to go ahead and take care of his needs because this is pretty darn bad. Um, so let's go ahead and let's have you feed him on the floor because he's starving. Okay. So that works for me. And you can stop with the party now. It's over, buddy. It's over. Okay. We also need to get potty training. So we need to buy a potty. We need to buy a potty. I don't know where I'm going to put this. This house is getting to be too small. So look out for us moving in the near future. <laughs> because it's about to happen, folks. Um... Oh my gosh, where am I going to put this potty? I really honestly don't have a freaking clue. Um, let's see. Furniture. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? No. Where in the world am I going to place this sucker? Um, okay, maybe we can place it here if I move this dirty laundry. I don't care about it being outside. Bam. Okay, hopefully that works. Hopefully we can get him potty trained in just a second. Where is she going? Get out of here. Um, I'm going to have you just go ahead and use. And then he should be done. So then after that, go ahead and potty train him. You need to put away the left. Put away this leftovers. Um, what about this? Nothing. Okay. And let's get you to maybe do the laundry. Yeah, let's get you to do the laundry because now I've thrown dirty laundry outside and they're about to get soaked and then it's about to become a big mess. So she's going to potty train him. Um, and then we should be okay. I might actually have her since how many days... Since she has tomorrow off, I might actually have her um, go ahead and take him over to the um, Tiny Prodigies Early Learning Center and start teaching him things that he needs to age up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up Miguel and we're going to go over here with him. All right, so let's go ahead and head on over. We're gonna go use this um, this lot. And then I'm just gonna kind of let Anton do his thing. Um, he did the laundry and it still didn't count. So when you're done with your bath, why don't you move the clothes to the dryer, clean that up, and then do whatever you want. I don't know. Um, does he need anything for work by any chance? No. And she doesn't work today. So that's fine. Alright, let's just get her inside. And what's wrong with him? I have no idea. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and put him... No, I don't want to put him down. Go ahead and put Miguel in the walker. Now, after she's done with that, let's get her to use the bathroom. I think she can use this one because I think that's the girls. And Miguel, I'm going to get you to learn to walk real quick. Aww. So these will be really helpful for us so we don't have to, like, buy the items. We can do it here or we can do it the old-fashioned way at home, but this is just kind of faster. Okay, that wasn't the girls' bathroom. That must have been the guys. So I'm sorry. There you go. Um, so go ahead and use the bathroom, and then, she doesn't really have anything she needs to do. We're just kind of waiting. I mean, I don't know. There is things that I need to be doing, or like planning on, but I don't really know when I want to start them, which sounds so bad probably, but I really don't, so I don't know what I want to do, honestly. 
But I'm just waiting for Miguel to finish learning to walk. And then we can go from there. Okay, I don't really want you to play video games. I kind of want you to just come in here and, like, be with your son. Like, that was the whole point of you guys coming over here together. Was so that you guys could do this together. So why don't you just chillax in here for a second. Okay. He's way over there. Alright, buddy. Did you finish? No. He's like, but I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who are you going to talk to? Okay, it's so random, like... You don't know that person. <laughs> Let's see. Why don't you ask him about his career? Ask his sign. We can ask his alma mater. We can ask if he's single. Um... We can chat with him and get to know him. Give him a high five. We'll just have a conversation with him. But we're going to have to stop here in just a second because... Miguel just finished learning to walk. So, let's have you just go here. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and put Miguel in the playpen. I don't care about this man. Just do this. Do this. Alright. So put him in the playpen. And then Miguel. I'm going to let you learn to talk. And then you're going to go swimming. I mean, do what you got to do. Do what makes you happy. Because at this point, you're just on your own. He's just playing sports games. Of course he is. All right. So we're going to get him to finish learning to talk. And all of this is building all of his needs as well because of the item that he's using. It is from the Sims 3 store, if you're wondering. Um, I know you probably already know that, but some people might not because some people still have never played The Sims 3, so that's also a thing. Um, right, so she loves to swim, obviously, so she's obviously going to gravitate towards the pool, which is fine. I'm just kind of waiting for him, um... I could actually probably speed him up a little bit because he is taking his sweet time. It's 11 at night, so it is getting pretty darn late. Um, but these two don't seem... Well, she's more tired than he is. She's kind of like needing to get ready to go to bed, kind of. And he's like wide awake pretty much still. Um, and obviously the baby is wide awake because he's fixed all of his needs in these con little contraptions. So, I mean, that's how it goes, I guess. What is she doing? Is she just, like, get jumping in, getting out, jumping back in, getting out, jumping back in? Like, is that what she's doing? Because there's not really a ladder, right? So, yeah, I have no idea. But she is going to have to come down here pretty darn soon to get Miguel. Um... Hopefully he can finish this real quick. Alright, there we go. Perfect. So I want you to come pick up Miguel. And... Okay. Now it's going to take her forever to get down here because she had to go upstairs. All right. Aww. 
Now why don't you go ahead and put down Miguel here. And then I'm going to let you come over here and I'm going to let you have some green salad. While you're doing that, I'm going to let him start playing with the peg box. And while he's doing that, I am going to set you up to come and play with him. And then I'm going to go check on Anton. Because I don't know what he's up to, but I'm sure it's he's needing something by now. If he's not asleep. Oh, he's working out. Okay, well, let's just not break a sweat then. You want to buy a stroller. See him age up well is what I want you to do. Okay, so you're in the athletic career, so I should probably let you just do this. But I really don't want to because it's going to take you forever to do this. So what I would rather do is have you go use the bathroom. Go ahead and eat the leftover macaroni and cheese. And then head to bed because it is getting late. Like I said, it's 2 in the morning. So it's plenty late enough. She is also over here, um, you know, working on his needs or skills with him. So we'll let her do this. She doesn't actually have to work today, so I'm not too worried about her. But at the same time, like, I don't want her to be on a really weird sleep schedule. I keep yawning. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Um, so in, like, the next half an hour, I'll probably have her take Miguel home and we can either buy a pig box there or um, just put him in his crib, let him sit in his crib while we sleep. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, it would be more beneficial to have him actually learning skills, but um, with as small as that house is, don't really know where I'm going to place anything at this point. Um, we need to really start looking into getting a two-bedroom now that we have Miguel. I think it would be a good idea and she does want to move into a high rise so I think maybe we will look into that in this episode and see what high rises are available that we can afford and go from there because there's no reason that we shouldn't be able to move if we want to. It doesn't say you have to stick on the land that you originally started on so I'm just going to allow it um, and that's fine. Okay so let's see. It is now time to start heading home. So I'm going to go ahead and have you two stop. And I'm going to have you go ahead and pick him up. And then I'm going to have you head on home. And that should be good. Alright, and we're going to go with you because that's what we do. And then... Yeah, and then we should be good. And he only has, what, five more days till he ages up? Six more days? So he doesn't have even, he doesn't even have a week yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what this weird lag is, but it can stop anytime. Um, does he need to potty or anything? I mean, you could go ahead and feed him on the floor. And then I'll let you use the bathroom yourself. And then I'll let you potty train Miguel. And then... Um... I do need to get gifts with her as well in this episode, so we'll have to do that at some point. He's sleeping. He does work in 11 hours, so... Hopefully he is good and taken care of. Alright, so I want you to potty train him and then... Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish that you could give toddlers a bath in The Sims 3 besides 
on the changing table, of course. Just because, for one, I don't have that much money. For two, um, I don't know, I just feel like that's kind of a missing feature. And, like, what's the point of having a bath if you can't really use it? I mean, I know the people can use it and whatever, but, like, how many people actually use a bath rather than a shower? Seems kind of silly if you ask me. Alright, so he could actually go in his crib because he is kind of tired. Not, like, extremely tired, but tired enough where it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to let her head to bed because she is getting exhausted. So we need to get the, her, her needs taken care of. Now, I was reading a lot of those... Um, a lot of the rules again before recording this to make sure I got everything straight and a lot of the stuff that we have to do requires she either has um, a really high cooking skill or a really high I would think mixologist skill I don't know I've never really like sat down and been a mixologist before so I don't really know but I'm just saying that she was expecting like more than Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, shoot, what was I saying? What was I saying? How did I lose my train of thought? I started thinking about how cute he was and how he's got his mom's hair. And then it went out the window. Oh, no. All right. Well, I don't know. I can't remember. Alright, so I'm just going to fast forward because they're just sleeping and there's no reason for me to just stare at them while they sleep. It's kind of creepy in the slightest. But, um, yeah. Okay. He's still happy, so we're just still fast forwarding. He's knocked out now. Okay. So, Anton, I'm going to have you go ahead and clean out the bad food. I also want you to clean up the dishes. Um, and then I'm going to have you clean this, use it, do the laundry take a bath he's got so much to do and he does work in six hours so we do have to make sure he's good and ready to go for that he is only a level four i mean is four really that bad for what week two day six i think that's pretty good i mean it probably could be better but we're not really meant to be pushing our careers right now in this LP. So I'm really not trying. I'm just kind of letting them do their own thing. And it seems to be working. Um, what level was she on in her career? She's level 2. So if anyone's done bad, it's her. And that's fine. That is plenty okay. Oh, of course he did. Well, look who's gonna unclog it. It certainly ain't gonna be me. So we're just waiting for everyone to get up, and then we'll start going with our day. I am gonna speed up again. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do this. Instead, I sit here like I don't have anything else, you know, going on in the background or anything. Which is kind of funny. Okay. So he's emptying that. He's going to unclog the toilet. And then we'll have him go ahead and eat some... Actually... Why doesn't he serve... Oh, it's lunch. 
All right, then eat some of the mac and cheese that's in there. We must have some magical gnomes. All right, household objects. Well, the ice cream truck is out front. Okay. Now, don't wake him. Please don't wake him. Well, of course you did. I didn't catch you in time. All right, I'm going to have you go ahead and feed him on the floor then. You can go ahead and use. Go ahead and tend to your garden. Take a bath. And then eat some macaroni and cheese. And... That works. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and make the bed. So, today I want to take her and um, Miguel and I want to go to the library and I want her to read him the nine books. Um, just to get those out of the way. And then I, we do need to still do the peg box and xylophone. The sooner I can age him up properly, the less stress I will have for the fact that, um, for the fact that, what am I trying to say? He, toddlers are very needy, especially, you know, in video games, <laughs> but in real life too. But um, I, I want her to be able to get him done with aging up and getting all that stuff done. And then we can move forward with doing other things because once he's got everything he needs to age it properly, then we have nothing really to worry about until he ages and then we'll start doing whatever we have to do then. So that's why I'm saying like it, it's, it's good for us to get it done as soon as possible. But yeah. All right, so she's just about done with the garden, and um, she does have a dead plant, so we are going to take that out. What is it? It's a... This one's bad, too. All right. Okay. He's playing with his darn doll because he has nothing better to do at the moment. Um, I am going to have her get up. Not get up. I'm going to have her um, start working with him in just a little bit. But I just wanted to make sure she got all of her needs taken care of as well. And we do need to clean out the bad food because it's disgusting. All right. So dispose of the plants. Okay. Now, here's the next thing. He needs to use the bathroom. Why can't I use this? Um, I don't get it. Um, how do you train him? So potty train him, 
And then we are going to head out. The first place we need to go is to the bookstore. So I have to actually find it, which I think it's right here. We're going to shop for books. And then we're going to head over here to the library. All right. Kicking the cramps. Yeah, you can read a book. All right. Oh, it's a full moon. We need to get off a lot. 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 Lot, 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 lot. You forgot the baby. Mm. Stay. This is what I wanted you to actually do. You go here. Okay, go, go, go. Go here. Just stay. Can you please? Okay. Now pick up Miguel. Okay. And then I need you to come over here with him and shop for books. And then I need you to go over here. What is this? Why are you throwing up? No, I don't need you to go straight to the library. I said go to the bookstore first. This girl, I swear to goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Girl, do it. Okay, go. You can do it. <sighs> All right. All right, so we're going to pick up the nine books because I do want to read them to my children. And as you know, we have to have at least four. Well, we're supposed to only have four. Um, so if we don't end up having twins or triplets next, then we have to try again. If we have triplets next, it's perfect. And I'll be so freaking happy. That'll be the end of my baby making days for the next generation, which I'm kind of really excited that I only have to do so much. I don't have to like have a ton of children like I kind of like that honestly and I hate that this world is laggy I think it's honestly this world and I might have to like reset something I have no idea it's really weird um so if I have to reset everyone I certainly will because I really want to play here for at least the first generation if not more um so hopefully we can figure it out because this is a little bit much now, if she was to max her career and get her lifetime wish, I think I would really appreciate that, but I'm not going to push it, push it, push it. Like, it's not my number one priority. My number one priority is to continue the, is to do the random tasks that we're supposed to be doing. So, we're just going to pick up these books. And let's see, this one and this one, this one and this one. Okay, buy those. And then let's go to the library. And we are going to read these. Now, who has a better relationship with the baby? He has, like, he's not even friends with the baby. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Um, she's at least friends with him. So, no, don't put him down. Um, man, that's bad. Okay, does he work again tomorrow? He does. And he's working right now, and he doesn't get out until 9, I think that said. Yeah. So, I don't know. I kind of want him to read the books and then send her out and do something else. But at the same time, I don't want to do that because um, I kind of just want to get this done and over with. So, maybe he could play with him on the peg box in the xylophone. We'll do the books, or at least some of them, maybe half of them or more. And then when he gets out, we'll have him head over and take over that is something we could do because he's in better shape I think than she is well I don't know his energy is worse and his fun is worse but I think it balances out from her hunger bladder and hygiene as well and then like her fun is better than his so I don't know I don't know who's in a better mood they're kind of equal so I'm not really 100% sure but um 
Yeah. So let's go to the library at least. We'll get it loaded in. We'll get inside with him because he's only got about another 20 minutes now before he's done at work. So I'm actually going to send him on over here so that we have him coming here at least. And then is there an actual children's section in this? I c yeah, there is over here. Okay. So I want you to put down Miguel here. See if she can do that. See you do it, girl. All right. So she could actually work on gardening. She could work on her career. I mean, she could do a lot of things. They could actually just... He made it 282, by the way. Um, ooh, you know... Oh, that's not one of those, like, spring riders. It's what I thought it was. It's going to be like, oh, let's let him ride that. But no, that's not what it was. Um, okay, so what we'll do is, why don't you go ahead and do this? Why don't you change his outfit to his everyday, first of all, because you got him in his freaking underwear. Um, and then, why don't you feed him on the floor? Well, why don't you toss him in the air? You can attack him with the claw. You can chat with him. Let's do all these fun things. Um, I think we still need to, like, tickle and snuggle. What do I have? I have toss him in the air, tackle him with the claw, chat with him, um, tickle him, um, snuggle him, and then why don't you go ahead and feed him on the floor. That way he'll be ready for dad. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you go right here. Now dad does need to read a book as well. So we might need to get him to read that while we're here at the library. So let's just start out with the green ones and see how quickly he can get those done. And does he need anything before we start? No, he is actually pretty good. He is actually pretty darn good. All right, buddy. Just stand and wait, please. Don't run around and do crazy things. Um... I'm just going to have her come on over here and try and use this bathroom and see if she can. she can't, then she can't, but I'm going to try. All right, and you... No, stop. Um, I love how big and open this is. You know how easy this is going to be to read these books with him? Like, so easy. Okay, so that's not a girl's bathroom because she can't get in, so it must be this one then. So go over there, and is there a place you could get, like, a snack? Oh, yeah, let's try and get a something from the vending machine um that one's like the drinks i don't want to drink i want to um i want a candy bar let's see if we can get a good one though probably not knowing my luck okay so he is pretty darn good so let's go ahead and tell you to read this with miguel read this one with miguel and read this one with miguel okay so they're gonna go ahead and start reading and while they're doing that, I'm going to stay clicked on him, but I'm going to be watching her. I want to make sure she gets a thing and then she eats it because she is kind of a little bit hungry. Not an extreme amount, but enough where it'd be cute if she, like, you know, went ahead and did that. Okay. I was wondering what he was doing, but he's actually just... Standing up because they're in between books. I forget that they actually stand up. I always just expect them to just flip to the next book. But that's not how it works, unfortunately. Is that like ballet shoes? That's cute. That is cute. All right. So he's learned his second book already. That is awesome. And then we just have one more book um, that's green. He's crying for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but we have one more book that's green, and then we'll switch to maybe the pink ones. Okay. He's reading with him. All right, let's see what this says. Nothing yet. Let's go ahead and have you eat the candy bar. Is it a good one? I didn't even look. No, it's a chunky nougat surprise, so she's going to freaking hate it. And then I'm going to have you come back over here. I want you to come right here. Because I don't think he's going to be able to do all this. He's going to need to read his own book. And we're going to run out of time. Um, so what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna let him read the pink ones as well. And then we're gonna look at relationship after that and see how it's going. So go ahead and read this with Miguel. Whoops, whoops, no. Read this with Miguel and read this with Miguel and we'll see how that goes. She did not enjoy it. I figured, I figured as much she wasn't gonna enjoy it, but there was nothing I could really do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you take a nap if you can, just for a second, just to get your energy up just a slight bit. And while you're doing that, we're going to continue with him. But then when he's done with that last book, I want him to go ahead and read this book instead. So we're going to swap out. Mom's going to take over and dad is going to go and read his own book for work. Because it, at the library, reading books is like, is like a blessing in disguise almost. And I need to get going. But I want to try and just get this going with them. And then we can go from there. So this one more pink book. I love how she's just sleeping like a homeless person on the couch. It's too cute. And like the paparazzi's here. So I'm sure we're about to be like slanderized or something. Like passed out in public. Honestly. So that was about to happen. But yeah. So we're going to have him read his athletic book. Because he is exhausted. And he does work again tomorrow in 15 hours. So when he's done reading that, we'll probably have him go home. Um... And then we'll go from there. Now, looking at Miguel, he is exhausted as well. Um, but what I want to do is I want to get mom up. And she's about to get sick. So I don't think she's going to get through much, much of this. But I want her to read all three of these. If Once she completes that, we'll take Miguel home. Um, and that'll probably be where I end the episode. Uh, because it is getting to be pretty darn long. Uh, read this. Hopefully she can do this. Okay. I didn't think you really needed to move him, but I mean, if you think so. Come on. Child, sit down. So we can either take him back to the Tiny Prodigy's Early Learning Center, or we can bring him back over here to the library to do the peg box and the xylophone, which I am going to have Dad do. Dad only works one more day. Am I right? I think I might be right. I think he only works one more day. I can't honestly remember, but I think that's how it goes. But guys, she's not going to do this. My son is getting fussy, so I'm over my time anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. When we come back, we're going to finish up with the books with Kathy and Miguel. We'll take him home, get him to bed. Then the next day, we'll try and get the peg box and the xylophone done. Because Dad does have, not tomorrow, but he has Saturday off. So we'll spend the day with them while Mom goes back to work. Because she actually is going to be working on Saturday. So when she's working, that's what we'll be doing. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below, there's all my social media links, so definitely check those out. Don't forget to check, um, share my video and give it a like, just so I know you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.